Hello and welcome to the first Dreamweaver CS6 web design project. In this series of lessons we'll learn to build a website from start to finish. If you haven't used Dreamweaver before don't worry because we're going to start right at the beginning with an introduction to Dreamweaver itself. We'll work through each topic which will include HTML, CSS and even scripts and we'll do this with clear easy to follow click by click instructions. And by the time we reach the last lesson in the series, we'll have completed a fully functional website. You can use your own images and resources for this project, but you'll need to be prepared to create and arrange them to the specified dimensions and formats as you need them. And this will take a lot more time. If you prefer, you can visit the website at wizzybooks.com and download all the resources to follow the lessons exactly as they're shown on the screen. The resources that accompany this series include the high quality video tutorials, a comprehensive fully illustrated PDF instruction manual covering all the lessons in the series, and it also includes all the files, images, scripts that are used in these lessons. In this series of lessons we'll be building a website for a photographer called John O'Dell to showcase his photographic work. We'll be looking at how to construct the page with logos, links to social media pages and a navigation system. We'll also see how we create this animated banner, adding text and images to our content area and some of the images will have this rollover effect applied to them. We'll also see how we construct boxes in which we can put more text and images. We'll see how to arrange our pages in different layouts, so this page has a two column layout. We'll work on more boxes and add different content to those. We'll also be building this image gallery, and this can be used to view our photos one by one. We can click a photo and it will open up in this light box, and from here we can scroll through and look at the different images within our gallery. This is achieved by using JavaScript and we'll be covering how to do that throughout this project. And then we'll look at how to construct a contact form so that our visitors can send us comments, feedback or questions. So we'll be covering quite a lot in this series of videos. Simply watch the video and follow the straightforward click by click instructions to build this entire website. I hope you enjoy this project and look out for future projects.